All right, navigating the day-to-day -day struggles of raising a child with autism is not easy. That is why our next guest, mom, author, and advocate Ruth Brunson wrote a book to help families living with these struggles as well, which we know so many families are. So good to see you. So so happy to have you on the show this morning. Thank you for having me. We've already been having a heart-to-heart, mom-to-mom. Tell me about why you wanted to write this book, and, and I want to hear a little bit about your story, your backstory, and your wonderful son uh, okay. this morning. Um, I decided to write the book um, as I was on my journey through early intervention. You know, my, my son was my oldest son, mm -hmm. and I, I really believed that early intervention, intervention was going to be easy for mm -hmm. me. He's eight now. He's right? eight now. Okay. Yeah. And I just thought, oh, I'll just say what's wrong, and they'll just give me all the resources that I That's need. That's what I would assume. You go to your pediatrician, they yeah. say, okay, yeah, here's where we would recommend that you go. You go and you get the help you need. Yeah, so around age two, three, I started noticing he wasn't doing typical things that my friend's children were doing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so I started looking up checklists um, uh, for the behaviors that I saw, and then I took those behaviors, like he was um, drooling a lot, mm -hmm. um, and I took that specific um, concern right to the pediatrician. Okay. And that was really helpful in getting me started into early intervention. But it was a very like difficult journey. And you were saying that, and we hear about this all the time, that there's this spectrum. And you kept hearing, getting pushed back, well, it's not this far enough on the spectrum, or it's not, we're not there yet. It almost seems like mis mixed messages that I would imagine that would be hard to figure out then, where do I go, what do I do? Yes, do I do? it's so challenging when they, when you know something's wrong with your child, and and their response is, well, mm -hmm. it's not r like enough. Like mm -hmm. he's not um, a deficit enough, mm -hmm. so he doesn't qualify for any help. Mm -hmm. And and you, in your gut, as a mom, you know something's wrong. Mm -hmm. You know that you really want to get the help that your child needs. Yeah. Um, what advice would you have? Um, obviously, this is why you wrote this book. What do you want parents, and again, I think there are so many families that are struggling with this. What is the message that you hope this book gives them? And I know there's a message of hope this morning as well because you said your son is thriving yeah. um, now. What would you want them to know? You know, I think my greatest message is that, you know, parent, you're not, as a parent, you're not alone. Okay. You know, that there are, there's a community out there. Mm -hmm. and knowing that you're not alone and that you can go through this fight mm -hmm. and you can advocate for your child, that is what I want parents to know. Like, you're not alone. You can reach out to other members in the autism community mm -hmm. and find those resources to help your child. Well, I feel like all, you know, so much of what we hear now is how that it is so widespread and that it is more common. And I think the assumption ma now is that there is this big community and there is, you know, a way to find other families, but you were, that was still a challenge for you. Do you think there's still people that are struggling? you know, to find that community? Yeah, I do think that there are many, you know, moms and dads mm -hmm. that are definitely struggling to find a community where they feel accepted, mm -hmm. where they feel understood. So where do you recommend they go? I mean, obviously they can um, read your book. I know this is sold on Amazon, um, but where would you send parents? I think a great suggestion is I went to We Rock the Spectrum mm -hmm. and it's a sensory gym and they have trained professionals there and they'll supervise your children mm -hmm. on the sensory equipment. And you can take a step back, yeah. you know, take a minute to yourself, read a book, read a journal that's there, or talk to other parents yeah. who have kids that are on the spectrum. So where you feel accepted, you know, mm -hmm. you feel like you belong there. Yeah, I know school, as we get ready to close, we just have about 30 seconds um, left. I know school is a big issue for parents Definitely. too, trying to figure out, you know, is it public school, is it, you know, what's your message there when it comes to schooling and education? I think the number one tip is to learn the terminology. Learn education terminology because they're going to talk to you in acronyms. Okay. So if you know what they're saying about your child, mm -hmm. then you can advocate for your child using their language. Mm -hmm. That's going to help you then be your child's voice. And I feel like you have to keep asking until you understand. Absolutely. You know, I think a lot of us, I think we've all been there where we stop asking because, you know, I still don't understand it. You're embarrassed that you don't get it. Yeah. But as you know, it's your child and you got to be their biggest advocate, Absolutely. which it sounds like you are doing beautifully. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much for sharing your story. We wish you and your family all the best. Again, the book, uh, Ruthfulness, can be found on Amazon. We'll certainly pour, put uh, more info on our website as well. But so nice to meet you. Thank you so keep much. Keep us posted, okay? Yes.